Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be guiding you through the process of installation of Mainshell. So first, we need to navigate to the App Exchange. After navigating over there, we need to write Mailchimp in the search option, followed by going into the app. As you can see in the App Store, we can review and look at the features of the app. Click on Get It Now to start the installation of the app. It will navigate us to our login screen for allowing the access. On the screen, click Allow to give it the access to our developer's org. Now we are redirected to the installation page on our app exchange. After clicking on Install, we need to fill in the required details on this page, which includes first name, email, job title company along with the country name. After getting it done, click on confirm and install. We can either install for admins only or all users or just for some specific users. For our devog, we are going to use install for all users. After granting access, click on continue. After the app is installed, you'll get an email notification. Now navigate back to the home setup page. Click on the app launcher and search MailChimp. As you can see, MailChimp for Salesforce app is available now. This is our MailChimp app for Salesforce. Now from the dashboard we need to navigate to MC Setup. Now it's going to authenticate our login from our web page of MailChimp. Following the credentials, uh, I'm going to sign in. After logging in, it's going to ask us for allowing the access to the authorization of the various apps. After clicking on allow, we are navigated back to our Salesforce MailChimp app. Now for the second step, we need a lead creation. For this, we need to map the fields. As you can see, we have three sets of columns over here. The MailChimp fields and the corresponding Salesforce contact fields along with Salesforce lead fields. Now I'm just going to fill in the required details for this one. So phone matches phone for the lead and contact. For the mailing address, I'm going to choose address. For birth date, we don't have a particular field in leads, so I'm just going to leave it blank. We can also add a new field for any audience. Click on save. Now we are guided by the MailChimp hints. So it allows us to create new leads, it shows us how to data sync and refresh the audiences along with the mapping of the fields. So it's just guiding us through what needs to be done. We can also create a new query to sync